Let's start by looking at the new fingerings in this lesson. F2, or low F. B flat 2, the B flat below open F. B flat 3, the B flat above open F. And C4. I highly recommend the materials created by Professor Kristen Wolf Jensen on the website Music and the Bassoon. She supplied a website with studies, suggested fingerings, sound files, and helpful videos. To support the materials in this lesson, I suggest you look at videos and materials in units 20 and 25 on flicking. Now let's explore some more studies on flicking and other materials that expand your range. Now let's take a look at Rubank Lesson 6, number 5. And I've picked the third line because there are several flicked notes in a row. And when you have flicked notes in a row, you don't have to flick them individually, particularly if it's very fast, but you can hold down the C speaker key. Let me do this first flicked for you so that each note is flicked. <laughs> Here it is with the C speaker key held down through notes that are adjacent to each other. This technique works very well, particularly for rapid notes. Let's go on to tune a day, lesson 15, number seven. This etude also, I'm gonna just depress the C key for the first three measures instead of flicking each note separately. Now, under this French folk song and many of the other melodies contained in Tuna Day, you'll see some directions. Think, count, one, two, three, or whatever numbers are given. Now, when I play, I don't think of numbers. Rather, I hear pulses. I think this is a more successful way to play. It's sometimes confusing to, to try to get the numbers all in sequence while you're playing. The important thing, however, is that you're hearing the beats. This next study by Henry Payne, number 14, introduces low F or F2. I'll play the last line for you. Make sure that you hold all the notes to full value, including the last whole note that should be held for a full four counts. Thank you. <laughs> 